everybody, welcome back to us playing World of Warcraft with Eclipse, our druid. Um, we have a couple of questies to do, um, the falcons that we need to collect, we need to kill some of those bad boys, and this big massive quest in this den, and that's going to probably take us like forever because I always get lost in there. So let's just get started. There's no point waiting around. I don't remember what we were doing. Oh, we're doing jewel crafting, are we? Okay. <laughs> I honestly don't really remember much. So let's just get on with it. Hello, Mr. Motorbike Man. We want to, yes, go this way. And we have our cat form, don't we, to make us just a tad bit faster. Lovely. Let's go find some fell cones. So, I am trying out my old microphone. It seems to have sorted itself. It's not um, stuck on just playing in the left ear. So, let me know how that goes. There are absolutely none that I can see right now. Aha! I can see one. Oh, yes. Da, 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 da. So hopefully it is sounding better, though I still notice the background noise, the sort of like static, um, which is really frustrating because I don't usually get that when I record on my phone. Um, but I didn't want to, there's one over there as well, so I'll just kill this bad boy. I uh, didn't want to record on my phone and then have to sync it because it's just it's a pain in the ass honestly it's yeah i shouldn't have to do that for some reason the computer just doesn't want to take the microphone that i have but it bloody well should i've also noticed how loud the clicking of my keyboard and the mouse is um that's not anything i can really change i love my mechanical keyboard it's staying with me <laughs> i like the clicking sound personally but we'll see a lot of people don't oh yes one over there so yes i have recently tried out a war gun i literally am just trying out loads of different mounts and not mounts classes and people and all that stuff how do you even get in there do you have to go round? maybe we'll go do that first it will lead us there i don't know I uh, can't remember how to go do about that. So, yes, I, I've never done, or never played with a wargun before, so I was like, oh, do you know what, I'm going to give it a go. And I absolutely love them. I think they're fantastic. I really like the starting zone of the quest and everything. I was really enjoying it. I only got to, like, level 7, uh, because I then realised that while I really enjoy playing a hunter, I didn't feel like it was appropriate for a wargun to be a hunter. <laughs> And I was also level 7 and there was no pets around for me to, um, well, grab, actually. None of these counting. Okay, well, I won't bloody fight you then. <laughs> um, yeah, none of, there was no pets around for me to, oh, okay, start. And it didn't seem, oh my god, okay, appropriate for me to be, I don't know, have a pet and hunt pets type of thing um so yeah i'm thinking i'm gonna start a new wargun character and um i don't know what to be because i don't want to be a druid uh, druids and hunters seem to be my forte my go-to i really really enjoy playing them i am playing a priest at the moment and honestly i'm not enjoying it that much i'm probably going in the wrong direction but you know, we'll just, just do it, we'll just do it, let me out, um, yes, so, I'm really not massively enjoying playing a priest, I'm being a shadow priest, maybe that's why, maybe I haven't played it enough, I'm only level, I think I'm level 20 something now, actually, so I do feel a bit like, um, I've given it a go and I don't think it's for me. 
However, it is my only Horde character right now, and I really want to unlock um, the High Mountain Taurin. And I have done the quest, I just need to get to level 45, so I'm a bit like, okay, maybe I'll wait, get to level 45, then become a High Mountain Taurin. And yeah, that's my plan. Uh, <laughs> whether that works or not, I don't know. I think these are inside the cave actually, so we could just go in there. Oh, level 8. We got our bear form. Lovely. Look at us. There's a bear. Aren't we fab? We are fab. Um, what do we actually get? So level 10 to travel, growl, and you've got to get level 10 to unlock those, haven't you? Hmm. Yes, it takes quite a while. Um, there's a cave there. So I was correct. I was. There's so many of them around as well. And I think there's a couple of quests in there too, which is fabulous. Fabulous. Um, I actually got gifted from the new guild that I joined a couple of 30 slot bags. I have never seen 30 slot bags in my life and I was so impressed. <laughs> They're the best things in the world. They're great. Oh my god, he's a, a rare. Okay, let's try kill this bad boy rare. Probably should have killed his friend first, thinking about it. Right, stay there for me, boys. Kill ya. Oh, you didn't stay there very long, did you? Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Can you sort yourself out? I'm going to have a cheeky... I don't know why I sat down. Okay. Back to killing you. Mr. Rare Man. There you go. Give me something good. That is good, I think. I mean, it gives us agility. Do we need agility as a... I mean, we don't have anything, so... We'll wear it. Oh, I love getting that little sound as well. Fab. Okay, so we are now in... The cave? No, we're not in the cave. Oh. Where the hell are we then? Okay. I am not superior. Maybe the cave's up there? Yes, you do need a target. Because all the things are around there, aren't they? Must be then. Ugh, okay. Let's go! The problem with um, no travel form, I forgot how bloody slow everything is. Walking around and stuff. Um, yeah, so back to the war gun. I'm not really sure what um, class I would like to be. So this has got to be the cave, right? Um, I'm not really into... I'm thinking maybe of trying, like, the warrior stuff possibly because I've never been a warrior I could try rogue as well but again I'm really not into them and I don't want to be in the same boat again where I'm like mm, I don't like it so yeah I don't remember this being the entrance to the cave I don't remember this being the cave it looking like this does it maybe it's just because it's the entrance no I really don't remember this I remember this quest, um, and I remember these things were in the cave, but I don't remember it being here. Oh, maybe they've changed it. I know there's lots of updates and stuff. Um, there's lots of updates, and everyone is greatly anticipating the 9.1 update that's coming. Um, I looked it up last night, actually, because everyone apparently is... Yeah, this is what I remember with the... Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so I looked it up last night because I don't really know what everyone's on about, but apparently a lot of people have left um, the game. That's locked, okay. Because they're bored and they're waiting for some updates um, and they feel like the content is lacking and stuff like that. So I do understand that. Um, I find it really, I get that obviously you have to progress. Open, rage, okay, hold on. 
The Nile Pine shaman that inhibit this space have discovered a way of separating the sleep injured spirit from the physical body. The fur blog have animated my physical form and are using it to attack anyone that attempts to explore the Banthrial Barrow Den. I am now trapped in the Emerald Dream, powerless to stop this. You must help me. The Nile Pine shaman carry a strange charm which is used to perform this ritual and I'd like to examine it. Please, Eclipse, bring one to me. Okay. I'll do that for you mate um yes a lot of people are getting bored with shadowlands already and i kind of get it it feels um quite i mean i didn't really play the other ones that much but it does feel a bit secluded as in you're literally in just this one area you don't really travel the world it hasn't affected i don't know maybe maybe it's just me i'm not a massive fan of end game stuff anyway Mainly because there's only a few dungeons and I'm a bit like, uh, a bit boring. Um, I like, you know, the old dungeons and doing all the things. All the things I enjoy to do. So yeah, see this person. Look, see? She can now help us. So let's find this. Ah, I see. Okay. So we're too far away from whatever the one that is. Um, but it does have a mist and it guides you around. So I'm just going to go through here uh, somewhere. Because this quest takes me forever. It is 100% not my favourite at all. Stay there, you bastard. No, don't heal. You don't even need to heal yourself. <laughs> you do now. Um, yeah, so I started playing a hunter in a human form. Um, very similar to a wargun, actually. Because I wanted to try out a human. I have never played the human forms. I say human form as if it's not a normal everyday occurrence. Like, I'm not a human. I am a human. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. It's really normy being a human, isn't it? No, um, no, it's no fantasy part of it. It's just normies. That's fine. I actually, I'm quite enjoying it. I'm really enjoying being a hunter. Um, I haven't played a hunter in a long time, and I got a wolf. And I can see that they've updated it a lot. Oh, I've done it. Lovely. Um, so you can now collect a lot of pets. I think if you put them in the stables and stuff, uh, which is really cool. Because I struggle to decide on what sort of pet I want. At the moment I've got a wolf. And I've got a giant rare. <laughs> um, that sort of shrunk. And he is a turtle called Terrapis, I think. Um, it just said that I could, you know, tame him. So I was like, sure, why not? So I did. Um, so yeah, I just have a random turtle. Which is cool, I'm thinking I'm doing Beast Mastery for that. Because I like the idea of exotic animals. Like I said, I am a bit of a collector. Um, so, yes, there you go. Here's one of the thingies we need. Raven Claw Talisman. Is that the thing he wanted? No? Okay. Okay, so we need to keep killing Shaman. I keep calling him Shaman. Shaman. Um to get a voodoo charm which is fine because there seems to be oh, a lot of them around um so yes i think i'm just gonna jump down oh look at that superhuman stuff that uh oh we got one okay oh there's a thingy there never mind right you so we've farewell, farewell? where are you going Cool. Oh, let's see. It's misting us. It's going this way. And then it disappears. So it's a lot easier, this quest now. This quest used to take me forever because there's so many ups. And it's like a really dense area uh, with lots of twists and turns and lots of different levels. But it's not obvious on the map. At least it never used to be. Like You can see that goes under and that's under now. But it never used to be, in my opinion. 
Maybe I was just really crap at games and I still am. Who knows? <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm quite pleased that they've added this random person here to help you out. Especially when you want to get out and you're just like, oh, I've been in here forever. Finish these bloody quests. I literally just want to leave. How do I get out? The quickest way possible is the best. Um, but honestly, we might just uh, half, half stone. Oh, out. Because we don't need to go anywhere else. Um, we're on the wrong side to get back up. We are on the wrong side to get back up. So, yeah, I think. No? Am I being... We just went round in a circle. <laughs> What the hell? Okay, hold on. Right, this way. Oh, I was looking the wrong way. Okay. That's why. <laughs> I'm really good at games. <laughs> I'm so good at games. So I had a bit of a, a problem earlier. I just thought I'd let everybody know because there's not really much else to talk about because I don't really know much about the game. But, you know, um, I was doing my dissertation stuff, as you do. And all of a sudden, this massive crash happened against the door. So I've like obviously jumped, shat myself and thought, oh my God, what was that? What's happened? Thinking maybe it was my cat or something. Um, so I got up to go check. Uh, it's a pigeon. A pigeon has headbutted my door and I open it say like, you're right? Thinking, what the hell? And he just casually strolls in, strolls into the room walks past me real casual like as if he owns the place and then just trips over <laughs> this is kind of really disgusting but we had chicken wings last night and we hadn't cleared the plates so they were on the floor with our chicken bones um and he walked over them tripped over chicken bones and just plopped himself down on the other side of the room <laughs> so he basically entered his version of hell um, and then my cat decided to follow him. I don't know if she's the one that actually made him bash into the door or not. Uh, probably, because she was around. But she didn't seem very interested in him, so I'm really not sure. She literally just looked at him and was like, okay, why is he here? <laughs> so I have absolutely no idea. Um what happened there so I had to get him out earlier I was a bit confused you know what? I am going to talk to you lady where are we going um do we need to go down there or up there up oh, perfect um <clears throat> yeah I had to get him out and I was freaking out thinking how the hell am I going to get him I don't know what to do oh why are you fighting me too you bastard and yeah, a bit of a nightmare really. Decided I'll ring Tim, see if he's gone to jiu-jitsu. If he's still upstairs, maybe he could come help me. He's decided that he's not going to come help me because he is going to go to jiu-jitsu. I was like, cool, I'll just, you know, deal with it myself. Which is fine, I suppose. I mean, I make him deal with all the spiders and stuff, um, which we both hate. We hate spiders and he's terrified as much as I am of them. Um, but he's brave enough to deal with the big, hairy, nasty spiders that come around. So I suppose it's my duty to deal with, like, the mice and the um, birds and things that Pirate brings in. She sometimes does bring in spiders, though. She's, like, the worst. <laughs> Why? Why would you bring in spiders? If he, she wants to eat and kill them, that's fine. Just don't bring them home. I don't want them in the house. And they play dead too. <sighs> anyway, so to get this pigeon out, I decided, okay, I'll place a blanket on him, and pick him up, green paw, and um, take him outside. So hopefully he's all good. He was very, very calm, a very good pigeon. He was obviously probably terrified and frozen so I'm hoping he'll be okay once he's sort of gone back out um okay so now we need to go up to the sleeping druid person perfect um I popped him under a tree 
that is inhabited by other pigeons. So hopefully that is his cheeky home. I don't know, he didn't have any feathers on his head, which I thought was a bit odd, but there wasn't any feathers by the door. So maybe he's being bullied. Pigeons get bullied, right? So I don't know, but I'm going to go check on him later to see hopefully if he's still there and he hasn't been attacked by any cat um, or human or dog, I suppose. He is in our front garden, so he shouldn't be. And he is under a tree, so hopefully he's OK. Um, and my cat decided to stick around with me when I put him outside. So she hasn't attacked him, at least not yet. Um, and she's now currently resting. You know, she's had a tough day. She is resting on the bed. I can't remember if he's over there or in there. I don't know, we'll try this one. Uh, she's resting on the bed. Chilling. So she's having... Oh. Oh. No, sorry. You know, I'm just going to go back over here. I could just let you fight him, couldn't I, to be honest? No, I'll help out, I suppose. I suppose I will help you. Oh, here we go. Right, if I can examine the charm, I may be able to figure out how to break the enchantment. Have you found one? Yes. Thank you, Eclipse. One odd trinket this is. I can sense the vile aura emanating from it. This is a very powerful enchantment. Yes, we know. After examining this charm eclipse, I see now what must be done. Please take it and do as I ask. You are to approach the door to the nearby chamber. Inside you will find my soulless body. Although I regret what is I'm about to tell you, I see no other way to free myself from the control of an alpine. Uh, in order for me to escape them, you must kill my physical form. Once that is done, use a voodoo charm on my fallen body. After you have completed this task, please return to me. Okay, so you've got to go next door, basically. Nice. Um, oh, I dis I went a bit like auction shopping and I found a fantastic mount that I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, obviously, we can't ride, so you can't see it. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, no, not the Wandering Agent. Oh, I also got some horses from my human. Um... Oh, here he is. Look at him. Isn't he the cutest? I paid like 500 gold on the auction house for him or something. He's so cute. He's so cute. I absolutely love him. And I found the sinister squash thing. And I called him Jack because it just makes sense. And I've been leveling him up because I want him to be one of my main pets. And I've been after him for ages. So I'm so excited. Can we actually get in here now? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, okay. Might need to bust out one of those. Deal with this bloody shaman first. Sha shaman, see? Shaman. Sorry. And then I'll just kill you up, Rage Claw. Look, he's a druid too. That's so sad. Yes, and then we have to use this. Release Rage Claw. Very, very sad, and my pumpkins give him a cheeky hug. Come on then, Jack. Let's give us a heal because there's 10,000 million people around. The good thing about the cat is it increases your 30% um, sort of like haste while you run around inside, which is good. I'm finally free of the control of the Nalpine. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Thank you, Eclipse. My spirit may now rest peacefully forever in the Emerald Dream. Perhaps one day we may meet again, young Druid. But for now, please accept this reward as a symbol of my gratitude. Aww. He's dead. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's uh, hearthstone back. Hearthstone? Hearthstone? I always say hearth. Like hearth and home, but maybe it is half. Half and home? Oh, I don't know. There's Jack. Jackie boy. Okay. Hello. Eclipse, the kidnapped druids of the Talon will forever be trapped in the Emerald Dream if we cannot retrieve the relics of awakening from the Bantheal Burrow Den in to the west. For every minute we delay, their fate comes one step closer to eternal doom. I got you. 
You have succeeded, young druid. Well done, and just in time, I might add. Thank you. Thank you. And we leveled up. Lovely. <clears throat> Did we kill this person before? Now the time has come to save the druids of the Talon. If we fail now, Eclipse, they will be forever lost in sleep. I shall prepare the relics of awakening and perform the ritual. For my work to take effect, the cursed beast responsible for this horrible situation must be slain. It was Urshal the Mauler who meddled with our brethren's calling, and it is Urshal the Mauler who must now pay so they can be freed. Travel northwest on the road and find the path north into the cleft. Urshal's den will be there, and we're going to get ooh, a vest. Shaky. And hello. hello. Kyra? Impressive. I hope my huntress carried her weight. If we continue with this forever, forever. I don't know, we may yet still free to do all from the corruption that oh god. Uh Alex Sars yeah herself could not burn out. <laughs> uh yeah. Totes. Totes. Can we make anything? No. Okay. That's sad. Do we have anything else to hand in? We do. Let's go do this. We'll hand that in. Um we are one step closer to getting our mounts. Nope, not that one. I clicked the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, one step closer to getting mounted, which is fab. I have quite a few of the mounts. I have a white one and I have a black one. So we'll see now. Right. What do you have for me, Eclipse? A lovely snack, I presume. Oh, yes, it was this guy, wasn't it? Ah, oh, what a sweet night elf. I knew you would come in handy. Creep. Ribbit. No, this cannot be. You have duped me with Ribbit, your foul trickery, Ribbit. Oh, he's a frog. Oh. oh, not for long, though. Okay. So, we don't want to go up there. We want to probably go round, which is a bit annoying. Oh, well. Oh, well. We will run around, as usual. So I was thinking of going to uh, Duskwood after this, but I have done Duskwood before, so I'm a bit like maybe we should go somewhere new, and I'm not really sure where. Oh, we got some more quests to pick up, lovely. I'm not really sure where, so if you have any recommendations, we can literally go anywhere, um, and we could do more of this, because I did Winter Spring um, on a different character, and it was actually quite lovely. <laughs> So we could go to Darkshore. I haven't been there in a very long time. Um, I don't think I've ever been to Fellwood. I did a little bit of Mount Hyjal, but not really. And I've never been there. Or there. Or there. Or there. Actually, though, I recognise the name. Um, so we could just stick on this sort of area, because I've never really done it. I always go over to... Um, I've been to Ungro on Unguro Crater. Um, I haven't been there or there or there. Yeah, so I haven't really done much Blood Mist Isle. What's that? I don't know. Yeah, I haven't done much of this because I usually always go over to Eastern Kingdoms and stuff. So maybe we should do this side for once. I'm glad you're willing to atone for your mistake. It speaks a great deal about your character. I have another task for you. I have gathered some ear root seeds. They are somewhat like fell cones, but quite a bit more potent. Nature often responds very negatively to demons, and these ear root seeds prompt a very concentrated form of that reprisal. To our north in Fell Rock, there are. Oh god. Uh. Relcrin? Is it Silent G or Grelcrin? I don't know, that are far beyond redemption. Use their Aya root seeds to root them before they become a more serious threat. Okay. Oh, I think I remember that. You throw it at them, don't you? And then we got a geezer up here. Or do you want Mr. Swiftroot, who I dance seductively with? Oh, oh. you haven't got a shirt on either. Okay. I must warn you, Eclipse, this matter must stay between us. The satire are enough of an embarrassment to us already, and this one is much too close to home. He is called Lord... Milanus. He resides in the nearby cave of Fellrock to the north, where he has gathered a large group of Rel 
Grill Warriors. His heart is black as night and he plots something most foul. You must find him within his nearby cave, just to the north of here, and bring me his head. Okay. I mean... I can do that. Did we get any new gear? Uh, yeah, we got a new belt. Is it any... No. Does it look better? If it looks the same, I just sort of see if it looks any better and then choose, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I can't let that, actually. Uh, no, we can't use a mace. So we're going to have to get some new bags and stuff at some point, too. Because we are poor. Right, so let's go back on to this. We need to go all the way up here to the cave. Um, oh yes, let's run through this bad boy, who we now have as a mount, which is cool. Um, he's huge though, really big. Do we go up here? There is a road, kind of, because there's these. Yes, we will go this way. Hopefully it will lead us where we need to go. <laughs> I really don't remember much. Um, so, oh, here we go. Too far, away. Too far away. Oh, right, sorry. I keep forgetting that I'm in that, that form. Um, I don't know if we're in the right place. I don't feel like we are. Oh, we are! Oh, okay. If I throw that in, does that work? Am I supposed to kill him? Oh. Ooh. That's a, um, not a very nice death. <laughs> okay, so I literally just need to throw this at them. Did I miss? No, I got him. Fun times. Fun times. Throw that one. Got you over there. He's running around, is it? He's not ready yet. Okay, so we're just literally going around chucking stuff at them. It's not very really nice, but she happens, I suppose. Um, and we need to find his head. Which is over there somewhere. Don't know if he's up or down, though, so maybe we'll just go this way. Maybe we will just go this way. This way? So... Oh, yeah. eh. Um, I don't remember what way to go. <laughs> I think this way. Because I can see the yellow dot, but I don't feel like he would be down at the bottom. I thought he would be more at the top. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. He's over there somewhere. Uh, I feel like we've just gone around in a big circle, haven't we? We have, haven't we? I feel like we have. Who the hell? Who the, where the hell have they come from? There's three of them. I mean, I think I've done it now. Yeah, I have. I literally just need to go kill this guy, but I can also do this. Oh. Oh. Ugh, that's nasty. Yeah, there he is. He is up there. Okay, so how do we get up there? He's up... I don't know where he is. He's up there. Up here. Okay, right. Uh, so we probably want to go back round. Is that the way? Possibly. Come, Jack. You are my companion for today. And probably every other day. Not gonna lie. And then after this quest, I suppose that's... Isn't he up there, though? I suppose that will be it. Yeah, no, I'm going the wrong way. Um, for this episode, because I'm not sure how long I've been filming... The problem with Warcraft is that you lose hours on this game without realising you've lost hours. It's nuts. I absolutely love this. so much easier. Um, you feel like you've been on here for 10 minutes. And you've been on here for 3 hours. Mm, got some hiccups now. 
it's just crazy honestly it is so I think he's over here somewhere right got you uh, got you oh no no well might have missed him I think I did that's fine got you now I've got you I love that <laughs> my cat forms throwing it is he yeah okay so he's keep going this way are we up here no <laughs> what okay oh I see okay yeah oh we're stuck and there's another one of you didn't I just kill you guys can you stop? Can you stop? Oh, I see him now. Okay. Hey! Don't hurt my pumpkin, man. You bastard. So rude. So rude. Right, there he is. I wonder if these seed things would work on him. Don't know. Oh, he turned into a cat too. <laughs> we could have cat fought it out um however i've got low health so yes we will do this i am going to chuck one of these at you i want to see if it works no <laughs> no it didn't no don't heal yourself don't you bloody there dare oh okay and i got his head now we have to go all the way back out, uh, back home. Oh no, we need to kill this person. Ursha, where are they? They're not in the cave though, are they? No, but they're near it. Okay, maybe we'll do that. And then we'll call it a day, I think. Because by the time we finish, it'll probably be quite late. I am going the right way. It's so confusing. This place is so confusing. Um... Yeah, I like that they've kept this though, because then I can just easily escape without any issues. Oh, not in line of sight. I hate that. Not in line of sight, he's right bloody there. God's sick, man. Okay. Um, yeah, usually you lose the ability after you've killed the amount that you need, so... I'm at glad they kept that on. I can't see you. Haha. -ha. Okay, so they are on the other side of this rock, apparently. I wonder if we can go round. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're up here. This way round, apparently. Uh, need to keep an eye out for some, like, wars and stuff we haven't had any is there any way they're not in a cave are they i don't oh they are okay because there's quite a few caves is all so go away spider go away don't have time for your i think up there because there's another quest so that's a good thing about these games is that they do kind of like give you an idea of where you're going because they have more quests and stuff around. Moon Princess Amara. For the great Warriors of the night, you... Okay. Greetings. The road to Darnassus must be kept safe. Corrupted fur blogs from the Nile Pine tribe have been attacking travellers relentlessly. Important news and comrades travels to any to and from Darn answers, by the way of this road daily, we cannot afford to have a rogue band of heathens terrorising people. Take up arms in the name of the sacred forest druid, the den lines up this northern path, stay these in alpine ambushes and report back to me. Literally this way, perfect. I will go there and do that. I will go and kill these people. So yeah, I'm really not sure where to go next. Maybe we will go to Darkshire. I haven't been there in years. I just remember that I hated its guts uh, when I kept having to go there because I like to create new characters. Um, 
I think I just like the struggle of an early character. I'm always creating a new character and then leveling it up to like a level 60 and then I'm like, eh, I'm done. So yeah, maybe, maybe that's my, that's my jam. But no, we want to use this character. We want to get her to level 60. We could do some mythics. We could, um, I don't know, try and gear her, try and collect stuff. I don't know, just, you know, we could even like go back to the old things and maybe do some really low level quests just for the storyline. That'd probably be quite nice. Probably be quite nice, wouldn't it? I haven't done some, like, most of the storylines, so that will be interesting. Um, we need to keep going this way, do we? Yes. Do we have to go all the way around? We do, don't we? God's sake. I keep clicking at the button too early. So, again, lots of linen cloth. Shame that that first aid isn't needed. I mean... We can heal ourselves anyway, but it would be nice. I don't know, I like first aid. It's such an underrated skill in real life. Um, it just makes me sad that they got rid of it, honestly. And I can't be asked to re-get you with those, so there we go. You're dead. Um, do I have to go this way? Yes, it looks like it. I think. Or do I have to go round? Because does that even go anywhere? There's a big tree. I don't know. Mm, yeah, I don't think this goes anywhere, does it? No. No. We continue along this path. Kill all these bad guys. That kill people for their... I don't know. Snacks? I would kill people for snacks. Um, so, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Completely. Snakes. Maybe you go this way? Yeah. I wonder if we could just run past that guy. Yeah, we can. They're so, like, they're spread out. It's kind of like cookie crumbs. But at the same time, it's a bit like, oh my god, just die. <laughs> However, by the time we finish this quest, this might have, like, uh, cool down because we're not in a guild so it's at 30 minutes and then we can just half stone back or half stone half 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 stone i have no idea yeah we could just do that and that would save us a lot of running time and then we should actually get to level 10 by the end of this episode that's crazy this is like the third episode and we're already at level 10 well we will be by the end of it so that's nuts the um, levelling has really sort of changed. Oh, they're literally right there. Perfect. They're not in the cave. In the cave. I thought it was going to be one of those long caves like we've been going through lately. But they're not. So. What I will do is heal myself. Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to heal ourselves up because I don't know how beastly this guy's going to be. Her girl. Guy? Uh, sure? I don't know. Bit of both. And we don't have many abilities at this point, so, but they seem to be going down pretty easily. So I'll just keep whacking them with this. So, okay, so we can't half hearthstone. What? What? That's weird. Um, oh, I suppose we need to go talk to that person first anyway, don't we? Mm -hmm. Can we just run down? Oh, I've got like... I need to clean my mouse. Because it's like... Dirty. Dirty. I literally just had a shower and my nails are nice and clean and here I am making them dirty again. Oh, when will I learn? should probably clean the keyboard as well. Keep them all can we just pop down here we might die but it's a sacrifice i'm willing to make hopefully they haven't come back alive because then we can just literally run it so far so good 
So far, so good. Lovely. Lovely. I need to go make dinner too. I'm thinking fish cakes. Mm, yeah. That sounds good. Right, Moon Princess Amara. Hello. You have served the good people of Dolanair and Donas as well, brave druid. As a member of the Sentinel Force of Teldrizzle, I salute your efforts. Okay. She used to have more quests, didn't she? Pretty sure she did. Okay, well, we're still going to have to run back, which is unfortunate. So I wonder if there's a shortcut way. No, we have to go around that mountain, so. Oh! Okay. Ah, oh, yes. The pain of not having a mount. And we're so close as well to level 10. And I already have mounts, so it's like going to be great. <laughs> I suppose it's not too far. It is literally just there. It looks further away on the map. It does. It always looks really far on the map. Okay. Okay. All right, fine. I won't be moody then. I won't be moody. If you know of any um, good active alliance guilds that we could join, do let me know. Um, we could actually have active people for once. That'd be nice. So, good. I know this probably wasn't very pleasant work, but we greatly appreciate it. I fear for our Tentesral. It seems it is becoming more crap than a day, and our ignorance to the cause is plaguing me greatly. Level 10, learn to ride. Oh, is he here? <gasps> he might be here. Specialization, battlegrounds, dungeon finder. I've never done the battleground stuff, so I don't know. And travel form. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> Did you kill? Did you kill Lord Melanus? Yeah, it is vital that he'll be taken care of quickly and ooh, and quietly eclipsed. His continued existence is an embarrassment to us all. I did kill him. With Lord Melanus laid to rest, I can finally move on to other matters. Thank you, Eclipse. No worries. No worries, Matt. Don't we have someone in? Yes, we will choose our specialization in a second. Just want to go over here. Eclipse, you have proven yourself a most worthy and able druid. A night elf who follows the path of honour as sure as you do is certain to find great glory in this world. Urshal's death brings safety to our once slumbering druids, but the source of his corruption yet remains within our forest. Swift time, I trust that you will find this evil and cleanse it for the sake of all of our people. You are destined for great things, young druid. Uh, 50 quests completed as well. Lovely. That's great. We've done really well in this episode. We've done really well. So let's check out our new gear. I love looking at the new gear stuff. Um, oh! Okay. Very nice. And we don't have any braces. So you can never see them though. So I'm a bit confused as to why we always have to wear them. Cool. Um, and oh, oh. There's a quest over here. Where's the... Oh, he's over there. Well, hmm, do you reckon that quest is going to take us there? Maybe. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, Tim's managed to connect his Xbox to uh, the computer. So I always get those requests. Are you heading to the south, to Lake Alameth? If so, then I have a task I might ask of you. My colleague... Denalan has a camp along the eastern end of the lake where he is studying and experimenting on the plant knife or tetasserol. He requested a package of rare earths from Donasus and it was late, only recently arriving here in Donanair. Can you take the package to him? I suppose. I suppose. Um, oh, right. Well, that's not any... Can I even right there i don't know can we go there i think we can yes okay that's what we're going to end it on we're going to end it on our learning flight well not flight riding i suppose 
flight. Um, and then next time we can do this and defeat Lindsay. Oh, is this account wide? Because I was doing that on my other person. Must be. Uh, we will get our flight thingy. We will complete the next quest next time. And I don't know what we will do from there because I don't know where the quests actually do lead us. I think it does take us into Darkshore, so maybe we'll just continue and see where we go. Um, yeah, that will be fabulous. We have been here before, haven't we? I don't know, it hasn't come up with... You've discovered, so I assume so. And we can get riding. This is going to be great. I love it. There's some quests around that we could do if we wanted to as well. But first, let's learn to ride. Let's learn to ride. Even though I feel like we should be one with the riding because we are a elk? Deer? I don't know. What? What is this? Does anyone know what this is supposed to be? A stag? Maybe, I don't know. I don't really know the difference between elk and stags, honestly. I know they're different, I just don't know how you tell the difference. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, don't forget to buy your mount while you are here. You can buy one from Lianai right here. Lovely. Oh, fab. Oh, what's this one? It says four? Ooh. So that one is a yellowy one, a white one, oh a spotty one, and a black one. Swift. Oh these ones have armor, but we can't we can't afford those. Oh we could sell these though. While we're here. Yes, sell that. Sell that. We don't need that. Sell that. Sell that. Um, sell that, keep that, I'll keep that for now. What's this? Oh, right. Oh, I like him though. What about this one? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're going to have to come back and get those. What ones do we actually have? Uh, right. If I type in saber. So I have a striped frost saber from her. And the striped one. Frost saber and a night saber. Okay. Dawn saber, frost saber, night saber, frost saber as well. But these ones, that's a spotted one. Not that one. That one. Okay. Well, we can afford both. So I might just get both for now. And then we can come back and. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Huh. And then, um,. We can. Why not? Apprentice riding? I'm so confused. Did we not train to ride? No, we didn't. <laughs> we just got the quest and didn't bother learning it. God's sake. There we go. See? Da, da, da. I can hear the music, so I haven't got these ones. And then what I do is I go to them, pop them on my favourite list, and then I grab the favourite mount thing, so I can just click that and it's just easier to mount up. Even though I probably won't, because... Oh, I care. Yeah. We are riding the night saber. Okay. <laughs> boop, boop. Okay, so I'm probably going to leave it here. Um, there's not much more time for anything else. Jack's just <laughs> casually swinging away. Um, so yeah, I will see you all. <laughs> She's so creepy when she does that. Next time, do let me know if there is anything in particular that you, or where you want us to go. Yeah, we have our talent to choose next time as well, but it's been quite a while since I've been on here, so we're going to leave it there. Alrighty then. So see you next time. Bye. I love you. Bye.